Madame, your cappuccino oh, served. Thank you. It's breakfast time. We've got some good looking stuff here. What do we have? This is a puff pastry kish. All right, we've got uh, zucchini fritters and we also have some avocado toast. Ooh. Looks great. How did it all get here? Let's go to the kitchen. Well, I can't believe you convinced me to do this show in my pajamas. I don't even really wear pajamas, but this is kind of the closest thing I could. We wake up like this. It's a breakfast show, I guess it makes this sense. This is how we wake up. But no, this is how we roll. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Not really. The hair's clothed. I never get bedhead or anything like that. No, but we're doing breakfast. But it is breakfast. Which and I love. It's one of my favorite meals. Yeah, especially especially in the winter. It's been really cold, so it's something that you know warms up, gets the day started, puts the fuel in the engine. So what are you making? I'm making a quiche. It's a jalapeno chicken quiche. Quiche? Oh, it's a quiche. It's See, a quiche. A quiche. So the real men can eat this quiche because it has jalapeno peppers in it. Yeah. Real men eat that. And chicken all, and right. all of the good stuff. So what are the ingredients? You kind of gave them away a little. I know two of them. <laughs> oh, yes. So we have two slices of an onion, of a mm -hmm. big onion. We have like five or six sweet um, peppers. Small. Small so peppers. We can do one big one. Color ones, yes. We have four eggs. Four eggs? Yes. We have two cups of cheddar and a rolling egg. We almost had we almost had three eggs. Exactly. Uh, we have some sort some jalapenos. This is jalapenos, but they are sweet and hot. You just buy it in a jar, and they come kind of like in They're a relish. Really, They're really good. Great on sandwiches. But if you want to use like the natural, like the <laughs> raw ones, you can use that. And this is a cup of chicken. I just took a breast of chicken and I put a little bit of taco sauce and I saute it and then I shred it. Very, very, very simple. Very you can use ham, you can use whatever you want. So, but this is what I have. This is what I'm using. Let's and I oh. have a cup of milk. And, and a falling egg again. You didn't say anything by the way because I'm wearing my Clash shirt. Oh, nice. Which I always wear to bed. It's my pajama. No, I do not. But she never lets me listen to The Clash in the morning, especially. But anyway, so I'm wearing the shirt just to kind of uh, put it out there. Because you imagine The Clash in the morning, it's like, oh, like all that. Okay, London's calling. We're going to get to the mixing in just a second? Yes, let me pull out. I'm going to pull out uh, my cross pie. Ah. I'll explain that later. You will? Yes. Okay. Whatever that is. Okay, so we're just going to take one sheet of puff pastry. You can use any other... First. Pre-made pie crust? You can use the pre-made pie crust. You can use that or you can use this. I like this one because I just like the puffiness of it. Is it lighter or a little flakier? This is lighter, this is flakier. Okay. So we're just gonna cut it around. Oh, look at the skills. Look at the know. skills on this one, huh? Yeah, right. So let's just do it like that. Let's just keep it like that. So we're just gonna put it in the oven with a little bit of butter. Butter. You need a brush. I need the brush that I just put right there. Running camera and prop. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm just gonna prop just remember that. Mostly on the side. Guy's, just name is, guy's name is Chris. Just remember. The amazing Chris. Thank you. So we're just gonna put it in the oven for a little bit before we put all the ingredients inside. Okay? Gotcha. Let's just put it for a few minutes. And what's the temperature here in the oven? 375. And we're gonna put it for seven minutes only. 375, seven minutes. Five Five to seven minutes. Let's not throw this out because this is delicious. So I'm gonna put it here in the paper and we'll do something later. Okay, so let's start mixing with everything that is going into the quiche. It's the onions. And I told you I just cut like two slices of a big onion. I got the chicken with his one pound of a breast of chicken, which I already pre-cook. I didn't cook it all the way because I didn't want it to be too dry. Mm. So uh, let's put the peppers, like five or six sweet peppers. Um, let's add the jalapenos. Good stuff. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in all of these. Just a little bit because I already put taco sauce on that of the breast of chicken, so it might be a little salty. The cheese. Two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. Let's mix it all together. It's not a quiche if it doesn't have cheese. Exactly. And eggs. Of course. <laughs> Let's do it right in here. I can do it. Let's open up four eggs. Let me just pop, 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 pop. Your egg beating skills do need some work. I just want to say, I'm gonna, I don't want to be picky here, but I've noticed that in the past. Really? 
That bowl's a little small for all them <laughs> eggs, woman. I know, right? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Listen, all is going here in the mix. So let's mix it all in. Boop, 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 boop. Those are nice pajamas. Who gave them to you? Thank you, somebody. Mm -hmm. With good taste, of course, it was him, you know. If he's complimenting, it's because he has something to do with it. Well, you know, she never wears them. <laughs> no, because I get too hot. They're too them. hot. <laughs> What are we doing? We're mixing this up. Made it like women. So it's it's a little it's a little loose. I see what you're saying. Yeah, because all the egg is gonna be you know um, hard and cooked, and it's gonna be like a puffy kind of thing. Let's put it in here. And the oven's at three seventy five. Three seventy five until right. everything cooks. Good, like good, most good. of the ingredients, everything is cooked. So you just want to spread it out really well. Butter around it of the extra stuff I made. And in it goes the oven. Okay, so now it's my turn. And I'm going to make zucchini fritters. And uh, these are really, they're hearty, they're heavy. But notice also that we're not imbibing in anything yet. It's a little early for wine. And we decide the Bloody Mary snow. So I have a little copy, but see this dachshund mug? This is a gift. But you see what it says inside? Best dog. It's a gag gift. If anybody follows Tula, we know this is not really true. But so let's get through the ingredients here. What do we have? Well, we've got uh, some cilantro to start. We've got some garlic, about one clove. Over here we have an onion, one sweet onion, kind of a small one. These are all grated. This is a one sweet potato, one... I guess it's a decent size, medium to large. That's grated. One egg. This is about two or three medium-sized carrots, grated. Milk. We've got uh, half a cup of almond flour and a quarter of a cup of a Parmesan cheese. But here's the... what You ask, what is this? I ask the same question. No. This is about uh, two, three small zucchinis, grated. But then you've got to take the water out of it. Because if you're going to have a fritter, you can't have all that water coming out of the zucchini. So we had to go through a process. You squeeze all that water out, either through uh, some cheesecloth or, or a towel of some kind that is porous enough, and you'll get all that in, and you get that out of there. So, mixing the ingredients. Let's go. I don't know what should go in first. Let me do this first. Crack my egg. Now notice these mad skills. Yeah, right. Look at that. This baby's been airing. Look at the bubbles. Yeah. Put some milk in it. We're stretching the eggs just a little bit. It also makes the egg a little smoother, so to speak, a little lighter. Let's go, Let's go sweet potato first. Notice the bowl. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. You too can have one of these bowls. If my sister wants to get you one. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's where it came from. Thank you, Diane. That's the carrots going in. We've got the onion, which I might add, they were really. Really, really pun pungent this time around. Uh, let's put in. I'm gonna break this up a pungent? little bit. Pungent. Pungent. What did I say wrong? What did you say? Poignant. Yeah. Poignant's a whole other thing, but uh, okay. So we're gonna put this in here. The camera here we person. go. Camera person's getting upset. And goes the garlic. Here's a cilantro. Mm -hmm. Flour. The cheese. A parmesan cheese. And again, when it comes to the um, the onions, you could use shallots, uh, you could use scallions, green onions, up to you. This is what we had, so that's why we went with it. And also with the zucchini, you could use yellow, green, combination of two. Uh, these were actually the yellow squash. So we're going to put the egg in. And this is something you can have breakfast, brunches. And quite frankly, you could even make these as a side for dinner. Some salt and pepper. You can uh, use seasoning with whatever you salt want. Salt and pepper to taste. If you like, I'm not going to do it because I get criticized all the time. Oh. You could put, you know, some a little hot pepper, a little red pepper in it. Put some if you want, yeah. No, that's fine. No, that's fine. So we're going to start heating up some oil. And I mean, you could do these whatever size you prefer. I'm going so you can always handle these as if they're meatballs and then you're going to flatten them out. That's pretty much. How you want to do this, and again, depends on your choice in terms of size, uh, as is always the case. So, it's a little sloppy. Well, they're not 
perfect. They're not Sloppy, who was the zucchini squeezer? Oh, sorry. I, see the light. I wish I could blame it on you. I really do. You know I like to blame things on you. Do I know? It's my pest. Do I know? It's my pastime. But anyway, this is going to take a while. This is going to make, apparently, this is going to make a fair amount of these fritters. Yeah, we're going to have plenty of them. They're this good is, for this you. This is really pretty healthy. And that's why we do it with um, almond um, flour. flour. And you know why? Because we also have about four bags of almond flour. If you saw any earlier <laughs> episodes of Chris and Eddie's Kitchen, somebody kept buying, we need almond flour. We do? We c I couldn't find it. We now have four bags of almond flour in the cupboard. So. Ah, that one was ready. Again. On me. Huh. You know, if the olive flower fits, wear it. Huh? Oh, look at that. That's how you know people look. Yummy. Wow, wow. All right, now it's time to actually eat this stuff. It looks Finally. fantastic. This is actually really our breakfast. And it should be. Because we haven't, you know, eaten anything I today. would say we don't typically eat like this breakfast with quiche and, and fritters and avocado toast. It's usually one of these maybe. But <laughs> this is more of a brunch, but. Uh, so this is a jalapeno quiche it's with chicken. Fried. It's hot. Ooh, very nice. The chicken. Gives it a little bit more texture than you would have in traditional quiche, but and it's got all the joys of quiche in it. But the sweet, the jalapenos, because some of them are sweet and spicy, it gives it a sweetness that is really cool and it goes really well with the puff pastry, which mm -hmm. I love. Who doesn't love a puff pastry? So, we didn't really show you the making of the avocado toast, but the avocado toast recipe, the quiche recipe, and the uh, zucchini fritta recipe all be coming up at the end of the show. Also, always at the bottom of your screen, at the, bo at the bottom of your screen, kitchen at gmail.com. Send pictures of things you've made, suggestions for us, uh, things you like that we did, why you like them, why you didn't, what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of, all that stuff. Feedback, we need feedback. If you like our pajamas, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> Give me my Clash t-shirt. So with that, I think we're good. We're just gonna keep chowing down here. Um, Stay with us as always, and we appreciate you always watching and all the support you give us. Ooh, this is really good too. There's a little secret ingredient to that. Whoa! Avocado toast, a little different. He made that, so I don't know what the ingredient is. A couple little things that may not be so traditional. But wait for that show. Stay safe, stay well, enjoy your breakfast, stay warm, and we'll see you and next time. And eat healthy and eat a lot of food. <laughs> well, moderately healthy. <laughs> it's still winter. No bathing suit season yet. Okay. Oh, we better get started. This is, this is healthy. <laughs> but we prefer this though. What you want to do, you want to leave out the uh, vegetable tags, you know, like the little. Oh. That, that, <laughs> who did I that? Oh that my god. Who did such a that thing? That is a I... little. To me, who's that's, the prep person? That's too much fiber. Too much fiber.